Hi, this is Corey Chambers in Los Angeles. Your home sold guaranteed or I'll buy it. Thanks for taking a minute to listen in. In a moment, I'll share with you some valuable information about this topic. Contact Corey Chambers. If you see any properties that are of interest to you, let us know. We will gladly send you a property information packet on any loft, condo, or house, or we will arrange for a private preview upon request. If you have a home you'd like to sell, you should know that I will guarantee the sale of your present home at a price acceptable to you, or I'll buy it for cash. This will allow you to buy your next home without worrying about selling your present home. To find out how much you could sell your home for, call me at 213-880-9910 now. This is the new official Contact Corey Chambers page. Readers of the LA Loft blog have access to Corey's primary mobile phone number. And everyone who is hearing this and seeing this particular uh, segment uh, have access to my mobile phone number. For those planning to make a move in the next three to six months, call and text me, Corey, for immediate assistance at 213-880-9910. Um, my email address is coreychambers at yahoo.com. It's C-O-R-E-Y chambers at yahoo.com. So here is all of my social media, or at least all the social media links that I could find that are Corey Chambers pages. That further helps you to get in touch with me. So people might ask, why do people want to contact Corey Chambers? Well, uh, sometimes it's friends and family, but this is for business mostly. So this is mostly for people who are planning on making a move and they would either like to get a free list of homes that sold so that they can know what their home sold for, or they would like a list of properties for sale that they might be interested in, in buying, um, or they may have a home they want to sell um, while they also need to buy a place and they don't want to accidentally get stuck with no home you know, if the timing is wrong on buying and selling, and they don't want to accidentally get stuck with two homes that they can't afford to pay for two uh, if the timing is wrong. So that's what uh, I'm here for, to help people. So anyone who might encounter any of those situations, also landlords, especially if it's a condo or a loft condo, and they um, need to get a renter in there to rent out the place, um, but also uh, renters who need to rent a place, uh, a loft for lease or any. Th for renters, we help renters that are you know, basically in downtown and nearby downtown Los Angeles because that's where people really could use our help because we have so much knowledge about rentals in those buildings as well as well as places for sale and. Um, so that's why people want to uh, reach us on Facebook. Here, let's just take a quick look at, uh, and you'll see that they all, most of these say your home sold guaranteed or I'll buy it. So that's our unique selling proposition. And uh, let's look at Twitter. Most of them should be looking pretty much the same now. They all have the same your home sold guaranteed or I'll buy it. And uh, let's see, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Let's see if they all have the... USP, yeah, your home sold guaranteed or I'll buy it on LinkedIn, YouTube. Is this one the same? Oh, this one's a little bit different. We haven't added the uh, Corey Chambers unique selling proposition here yet, but this one is a little bit different. It's, uh, it's, it's about lofts, so that's why almost every video on YouTube that we do is about lofts and also loft neighborhoods, downtown Los Angeles, Lincoln Heights, and the other loft neighborhoods nearby, but also neighborhoods where people like um, to live. Our clients also like to live in places like um, Echo Park, Highland Park, and um, Silver Lake, Hollywood, um, and things like that. Okay, and let's see, what's the next Corey Chambers? Oops, I accidentally turned it off. That's okay, we could... Uh, Bring it right back up here, laloftblog.com. <coughs> Instagram. Let's see if that one looks the same. Um, it's got my face. Here's my face 10 years ago. Here's my face uh, 
a couple weeks ago when I did not cut my hair. Fortunately, my hair is more um, short now. My hair, I look a little bit more like this at the moment. Okay. Instagram, TikTok. Let's see how TikTok looks. TikTok is the newest. Younger people all know about TikTok. If you're over 40, you might not have seen TikTok. TikTok is just like um, Vine. Vine started taking off. Vine started growing and then it uh, kind of died a little bit. But TikTok has these short videos that young people like because they like to dance around, do a little uh, quick video. Uh, perfect for short attention spans. So anyone with a short attention span loves TikTok. That's why my video is only about 10 seconds on TikTok. Lofts for lease, lofts for sale, affordable lofts or luxury lofts. LALoftBlog.com, www.LALoftBlog.com. That's me walking my dog in the park, looking pretty uh, disheveled. Weebly, mm, probably only people that are into writing blogs are familiar with Weebly. Weebly has our all of our stuff that it needs in there. Steemit. So Steemit is, uh, so I'm going through the ones that you may not have heard of. If you're a writer or you just want to have, or you just want to be everywhere that other people are on the internet, um, I'll let you know what these are. Steemit is um, one of my favorites. And since I just found that uh, Google is not shadow banning Steemit too badly, Steemit is about free speech and uh, freedom, and also it has its own uh, cryptocurrency blockchain type of currency that it deals with. So you actually get paid uh, money in the Steam um, when you write posts on here. So if you like to express yourself and uh, you um, would like to get paid for it, uh, then you use Steemit. There's another one that I'm going to show you coming up called Minds, M-I-N-D-S, Minds, uh, that I like even better, the interface. It's more up-to-date, more refined, more sleek. Um, but Minds is so far, I think, getting more shadow banned by Google. Uh, and it's newer, and so Google tends to prefer also older uh, websites that are more established. And so uh, Minds has not caught on yet because of those two reasons. Um, but Steemit has caught on a tiny bit. Um, but Minds, I think, probably will win out in the end. It's just going through um, a couple issues right now. So I'll show you Minds as well. But so far, Steemit, I just saw that my Steemit when I was searching for my name. I think I was searching for my name. When you, if you search for your name on the internet because you want to find out it, either you don't you want to not be on the internet, so you're searching for that, or you want to do want to be promoted, like you're, if you're a real estate agent or um, mortgage broker or whatever, um, and you do want uh, you know to be seen, to be found easily. If you do some kind of sales of a service that's popular, like insurance or whatever, then uh, check yourself on. Um, don't just Google yourself. You got to go to um, go to Chrome browser and open an incognito window because that way it will look at uh, without looking at you, without considering you in the search. Because otherwise, if you just Google yourself. Uh, Google knows who you are and it knows you want to see yourself. So it will normally pull up things that you see that other people will not. So that's why if you want to see what other people see on you, go to Chrome, uh, new in incognito window, and then it's a black screen. And then um, this is also how you protect your privacy, but the purpose right now is to look at yourself without it knowing who you are so that it does not try to pull you up extra you know to serve your needs you want to see what other people are seeing so google chrome new incognito window corey chambers uh, los angeles there's other corey chambers who do real estate in texas and, and stuff like that 
So the way you find me is Corey Chambers, Los Angeles. You could do Corey Chambers Real Estate, Los Angeles, but just Corey Chambers, Los Angeles, because I'm pretty much the only Corey Chambers in Los Angeles. All right, then you can see what actually comes up when people are searching for you. So Facebook, LA Loft Blog, LinkedIn, this green council that I signed up for, I'm surprised that's always in the um, uh, searches. And Twitter, um, Active Rain, Crunchbase. All right. So that's how you do that. And uh, by the way, if you want to see all of the reviews on me, um, then search for Corey Chambers reviews. Otherwise, you will actually see fake reviews, very few of them, and they're just people who don't like my politics and stuff, trolls. So if you want to see all, all the reviews from all of our actual clients, um, Corey Chambers review reviews. Just Google Corey Chambers reviews, and then um, you'll see the real ones here. Uh, Yelp, you only just see a, a couple uh, um, from people who hate me, who don't even have never met me, never talked to me. They've seen something online about me talking about free enterprise or whatever, and then so they give me a bad review. So if you want to see real reviews, go to um, just Google search Corey Chambers reviews. So these are actual um, clients reviews. So here you see a lot of reviews. Um, and you'll see all of them that way from re real, real clients who use my services. And what else? So let's go back uh, to the Corey Chambers contact page. And we're going over this just because I, I just created this page uh, last night, uh, yesterday and today. Okay, then LoopNet. I hear Puppy Wuppy upstairs. My puppy wants to play with it. He's playing with his bone. He's throwing his bone because he wants me to, to fetch it. That's the kind of dog I have. He's a lap dog, and he he throws his bone and, for me to fetch. That's literally what he does. Okay, LoopNet. Corey Chambers, your property sold guaranteed or I'll buy it. Notice that one says property instead of home because LoopNet is a commercial real estate website. So if you have a commercial property, we will help you sell it, especially if it's in downtown or nearby downtown, Lincoln Heights, Chinatown, and so forth. And you want someone who knows those areas for residential and commercial real estate. I usually specialize in commercial, but I have always had, um, a, I've always specialized in residential but I've always had a commercial um, experience for uh, since 19 since the 1980s okay and a lot of my um, properties that are due that I uh, help people with if they're not residences right now they used to be they used to be industrial or commercial properties that, that are conversions so there's a lot of uh, live work properties as well so if you have a property that if you're not sure if it's live work or commercial or residential, then I'm, I'm the guy to call. <laughs> All right. So that's LoopNet or what's next? Active Rain. Active Rain is really designed for to help real estate agents to reach people to do blogs and promote their services. Um, kind of like Facebook. Uh, kind of like MySpace. And so I'm on Active Rain. Okay. Oh, now he's growling. So he really wants me to come upstairs and play with him. Okay, you're gonna have to wait a few minutes, Wuppy Puppy. All right. Anchor Anchor FM. So this is uh, if you want to record an audio blog, an audio webcast or podcast uh, quickly, Anchor is by far the fastest way to do that. Uh, just put it on your phone, on your iPhone. I think it probably works on Android as well. Um, Anchor.fm. Uh, you could find it on the internet as well. Um, but you record uh, from your smartphone and this does so much automatically. The only thing that's a little bit slow is it allows you to put in a lot of words, a lot of keywords, a lot of descriptions, a lot of titles, 
because that gets you found in the search engines. So it's really good for the search engines. It slows you down a little bit when you want to record a, um, an audio, but I, said, I only mention that because it's by far the fastest way. Uh, everything else it does is very, very, very fast in allowing you to record your audio podcast. So if you want to say hi to the world very quickly um, through audio, Anchor has been the best, and uh, and it gets you found on the search engines. It, it sends it out to Spotify and a whole bunch of other places, and it even pays you when you get an audience, uh, and the setup of, of, of all of it is really fast. Uh-oh, he's throwing his bone again. Okay, wait a minute, puppy puppy. I'll play with you in just a few minutes. Can, can you wait a few minutes, and I'll play with you? You're a good boy. All right. So... Oops, I shut it all off again. LA Loft blog. So I hope you're finding these helpful, especially, I, I know you're finding them helpful if you do a lot of writing or blog posting or promoting or marketing or or if you like just reading other people's stuff and you want to know what, what to you know look at about other people that you like. Because you'll find that some celebrities use a lot of these as well. Some business people, scientists, artists. Um, okay, Behance, no, Pinterest. Pinterest is very, very popular. So if you like just looking at pretty pictures of houses and fashion and stuff like that, um, Pinterest is good for that. So I've been putting all of my blog posts, yeah, here they are. All my blog posts are going up on Pinterest automatically because a lot of my blog posts are about properties. But of course, I talk about other things too, the economics of real estate, the politics of real estate, the do's and don'ts, ins and outs, good and bad. But I talk specifically about a lot of properties, especially if you like lofts and properties with a lot of character. I'll be doing more and more types of properties with character as well. We have some plans to do more about all kinds of character like Spanish houses and... um, just a whole bunch of, a whole different array. Uh, lofty houses with high ceilings and character. So that's Pinterest. Pinterest is a lot about pictures. Then you can click to pin pictures that you like so that other people can see them. Pinterest. Behance. So Behance is um, maybe newer and less popular so far um, but I haven't really explored Behance too much I like how it lets you add your social media links easily in fact I need to add the other social media links that I've showed you to Behance okay Foursquare Foursquare um, is like for businesses and professionals uh, and I think it maybe has ratings and, and check-ins I th- but I haven't been using it that much because it wasn't, it just wasn't working too great for me, but we'll try it again some more. MySpace. Those of you who were doing social media in 1999, maybe, no, 2005, are familiar with MySpace. It was the most popular in around 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008. 2008, um, Facebook started to take over. So there's my MySpace. It looks like a couple of pictures have been going away. I noticed the internet is like everything else in life, everything else in the physical world. It actually deteriorates when you don't do maintenance on your websites. Your pictures will start to deteriorate. Your links will start to deteriorate. Your websites will start to deteriorate. Your information that you put up, if you want the world to see it, starts to deteriorate. So you have to consistently maintain, improve, uh, upgrade and enhance and add content. Um, just like if you had a you know a, a retail store or something. Okay. MySpace. Medium. Medium is, is really good for writing and blogging. So anyone who's a writer or blogger should be checking out Medium for sure. It has one of the best interfaces, the newest, most up-to-date interfaces. And this is one of the fastest also to to write things. Um, Oh, where's mines? Oh, I forgot to put mines on here. I'm glad I reminded myself. 
to put mines on here. Let's do that now, since we're making such a long video. Mines.com, mines, Cory Chambers. Hmm, where is it? See, uh, this is what I mean by Google um, shadow banning minds.com. I can't even find it when I'm looking. I type it in directly and I can't even find it. So Google's doing something untoward, perhaps, with minds. Um, all right. Minds.com can't mistake minds.com still yeah so google is still having a major issue with minds.com and i think google might say that they are maybe taking some action because minds has is a free um, speech website which google google does not appreciate free speech very much um, based on how much wiping out that google does of, of free speech and, and Google's uh, other websites like YouTube, um, they attack free speech pretty mercilessly while they do very little to stand up for free speech. So they are attacking Minds. Let's just go into Minds. So since I know my clients and my listeners appreciate free speech, let's talk about that. So here's Minds.com that Google is trying to uh, disappear. Um, and here is my direct link. And so mine has been actually the fastest to write something. It's really fast, especially if you find uh, an article, a web page, a picture, a video, YouTube, or any, something else that you like. Um, you just paste it right in here along with a few words, whatever your thoughts are. And then you click uh, post, and then it um, it posts it very very quickly, um, and then it gives you a lot of other good things. The interface is really good, so it's a shame that Google is uh, attacking Minds.com. And um, but if we all keep if all, if we all use Minds.com more, I'll keep using it. Um, then uh, then Google will eventually give in and. Uh, start um, stop shadow banning minds.com and they'll start um, promoting it okay google i've learned to do affirmations because they they work when you just post things that um, you want to come true uh, they're more likely to come true because these things they connect with other people and it causes things to happen also things you spend money on if you bet money on something, it becomes actually more likely to happen. Um, it could be just a tiny bit. It could be one millionth of a percent more likely to happen. It could be one billionth of a percent more likely to happen. But it does actually make it more likely to happen. Google shall um, begin to respect and acknowledge the free speech being promoted by Minds.com. And free thought Corey Chambers. Los Angeles. So that's why I call myself Corey Chambers Los Angeles all the time is because there's a lot of Corey Chambers and I'm, I'm pretty much the only Corey Chambers in Los Angeles. Okay, post. All right. All right. And then we're going to add minds.com. 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 Okay. Hmm. We're not able to edit from this. 
point right here. Okay, wait just a few minutes, Wubby Puppy. Okay, blue. All right, well, let's go back in here. Uh, let's go ahead and fin fix that off the air. So that's uh, pretty much it. That's the Cory Chambers contact page. It's the brand new one that has all the social media links. All right, well, thanks for joining me. As I mentioned earlier, a property information packet of any loft, condo, or house is available upon request. Call 213-880-9910 now. I'm Corey Chambers in Los Angeles. Thanks for joining me, and you take care. Bye-bye.